welcome to episode number 79 of the ABCs from God, the truth about being Christian. Today's show is entitled, Fasting for Survival. In last week's episode, we questioned whether liberal, liberal Democrats were going to hell. If you are new to our channel, welcome. And please join the conversation in the comments section after the video. Have you ever been fasting and had a dream about eating and feeling guilty in the dream that you were eating only to wake up and thank God that it was only a dream? I have. Comment below and share your experience. Many people do fast for the sole benefit of losing weight. And if you have excess weight, this is a good thing if done under your doctor's recommendations and plan guidelines. There is evidence that besides losing weight when we fast from food, we also boost our immune response and autophagy kicks in. Since our body is free from digesting food, it can now begin to repair itself. For a crash course on autophagy, check out Dr. Berg's What Really Happens When We Fast in my description. I must admit that I did not consciously fast in the first 45 years of my life spoiled with lots of good food. However, when I began studying the religions of the world, I noticed that fasting was a common habit for those people that wanted to be closer to God. I have heard about many people who were following a false religion, and then after fasting, they have a miraculous connection with Jesus through a dream or a vision, which led them to converting to Christianity. Well, of course, God opens their searching heart. The Holy Spirit comes to them and with the sincere confession of their sins and the turning away from these sins, they join us saints. And that is in following and confessing Jesus as Lord and Savior. Our Savior showed us the ultimate reason to fast for our survival prior to being tempted by the devil. Bible quote. From the book of Mark, chapter 1, verses 12 and 13. The Spirit immediately drove him out into the wilderness, forty days being tempted by Satan. And he was with the wild animals, and the angels were ministering to him. By fasting, Jesus gave us the example of how we can be closer to the Father. The discipline of fasting is to have us less concerned and less able to do bodily things. Thus, through prayer, we rest in the Lord. And as with Jesus in the wilderness, we come closer to the Father, depending on Him for all our needs, physical, mental, and spiritual. For a more detailed account of Jesus being tempted in the wilderness, see the books of both Matthew and Luke, chapter 4, in my description. As well, see Isaiah, chapter 58, for true and false fasting. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for Jesus' example of fasting and the strength of the Holy Spirit in keeping him from the devil's temptations. Thank you also for Jesus' examples of the power of prayer, that is to connect with you, Father, in a closer relationship. Help us, Lord, to trust in you more and more each and every day and to love you over all. We look towards your wonderful day of return. Come, Lord Jesus, come. Amen. Well, please join with me for next week's show entitled, Live Forever with This Exercise. Well, if you enjoyed the show, please hit the pause button right now and help support this channel by smacking the like button and subscribe buttons. As well, please comment and share today's show with someone who you think would enjoy it or benefit from it. For those of you who are currently without a church group, please feel free to go to my description and listen to a weekly sermon from the Richmond Alliance Church. We also recommend our brothers down south, Alistair Begg at Truth for Life, and John MacArthur at Grace to You. Well, if you've just come to Jesus Christ or have been following him for a while, begin or keep up your daily habit of reading the Holy Bible be part of a Bible-based church and join with my friends and I in sharing God's truths, his ABCs about being Christian. God bless you.